If you want to create one of a kind textures just like I did on these sleeves or in the shape of a heart on this baby sweatshirt, then keep on watching as I'm going to show you step by step how to do this in this quick and easy tutorial. To make this applique, you will need all the things that you already have at home. A paper stencil of a desired shape, scissors, a chalk or heat erasable pen, tool, organza, netting, chiffon or any other fabric, pins, thread, your main sewing project and a sewing machine, but you can always opt to do it by hand as well. I am going with this heart shape on the sweater that I'm making for my little baby girl. So first, place your stencil on your project and trace around it using chalk or in my case heat erasable pen. Um, they work much better on non-stretch fabrics and I enjoy using them because the gray pen shows up on black fabrics or dark fabrics much better than some other products that I've used. This is totally not sponsored so if you'd like to try, the link will, will be in the info box below. Next, take your fabric, in my case it is organza, and cut into strips. My strips are 2 centimeters or 3 quarters of an inch wide. And here's the tip, the longer the strip, the easier it is to work with it. You will see why in just about a moment. So once the strips are cut, adjust your stitch setting to be wider, since you will need that to gather the strips into a ruffle. Now you are going to do a straight stitch down the very middle of each strip. Once done, gather it to make a ruffle just like this one. Now here's the fun part. Put your gathered organza strips one at a time according to the shape, pin in place and stitch down the very middle where you already have the gathering stitch. Take your time and go slow, that will for sure pay off. If you need to join two strips together and that's why it's easier to have just one long one, just snip the tail off with threads, fold it underneath and overlap on top of the strip that's about to end and continue sewing. It is a little tricky and might take a little bit of time. You might need to use your scissors to flatten the strips underneath the presser foot, but if I can do it, you can do it too. At the very end, all that is left to do is to sew the actual garment together and ta-da! We have a fun and cute baby sweater with a ruffled heart. You can apply the same technique on the sleeves of the blouse, on the pillow, on dresses and many other different projects. Check out some other fun sewing videos you see on the screen right now. Thank you for watching Sew Up A Storm and see you soon. Bye!